there we go um so we have audio nice check no it wasn't the internet just my, my brother still i literally told my brother so many times do don't unplug the power cord because it shuts off both of our computers what does he do he rips it out of the wall my computer and his computer go, goes off i'm like dude stop like, I've turned it over like 50,000 times. I'm getting sick of his pulling out the cable. Wait, let me, let me stream Discord also. Because yes. Ah yes, perfect place for Discord. Let's see, can I hide the members? No, I can't. Whatever. <coughs> Fuck, I feel like I sat on glass.
mic on. And Discord on, of course, so people can see the secrets. <laughs> Welcome to. I ain't gonna. Do, I, should, I should. Yeah, I'm gonna do the tutorial so, so I don't look like a baby. Welcome to. Welcome to Train Sim World 2. No. Okay, time to. Time to go to my menu and then do the tutorial from there, because you know, this is gonna tell me how to walk and everything. Which is not the for me. Welcome to driver training. Here you'll be taken through the operation of a southeastern class 395 javelin. Jesus Christ, this, this. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. Yeah, when you're ready, climb yeah, aboard to get started. Javelin. Yeah, Can I open a couple of No, I can't. How sad. I wanted to do that. Am I stuck here? Oh, thank God I'm not stuck. Take a seat in the driver's position. Well, this this is where you'll be spending most of your time. <laughs> to unlock the control desk, Insert and set the master key to the on position. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from external sources such as DC third rail lines east of Ebbsfleet International and AC overhead wires between London and Ebbsfleet International. As we're in the third rail part of the route, press the pan up shoes down button to lower the pickup shoes so that we can connect to the power. The main circuit breaker will need to be closed to allow power to reach the entire train. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Time to get going. Set the doors to locked. For this introduction, you'll be driving as far as Stratford International.
This train uses a, a DRA or driver's reminder appliance. This is a safety system which ensures this train is now. Let's see, let's see if I can uh, if I can raise the panto. Coasting is a method used. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the handle into the braking range. You are now approaching Ebbsfleet International, so apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable. Then we're going to say hi. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. I hate every time they return to see. Look at the platform, make sure it's safe. This section of the line features a changeover in power and signalling as we switch from the third rail beneath us to the overhead wires that are now above us. We'll also switch from using miles per hour to kilometres per hour speeds and the TVM in-cab signalling will be in use from here. To begin the power changeover, set the... Now hold the CTRL button to raise the third rail shoes and change to the... Next, press the pan up shoes down button to raise the pantograph. 
Finally, press the pan up, shoes down button again to close. Nicely done. You're in good shape to continue the journey. Proceed to the next stop at Stratford International, unguided this time, and see how you get on.
Oh, it's that way, I don't know why. Rainbow. It's the Pride Train, am I right? Thank you. 
train. Wait. I'm, I'm a steam train. Same here guys, I'm gonna go to bed now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I'll get this video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I'll get this video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.